Ron, how long have you lived in Westerhills? I moved here July 1992. Is it a place you like living? Oh yes, yes, I love it, absolutely love it. You know, it's, uh, I come from a working class background, I mean, you know, and, uh, so therefore um, it doesn't cause me any difficulties whatsoever, you know. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's like anywhere else. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you get good and bad wherever you go. And, uh, the, yeah, I've met more good, put it like that. The first painting I sold, actually, was to the Queen, uh, or the Queen's agent, uh, when I was 16 years old at uh, an exhibition in the National Gallery in the Mound. So I presume it was her agent that bought it and not, not her. I presume she's never seen it. It's disappeared off the landscape. And I, uh, I trained over Robin Philipson, who became the head of the Royal Scottish Academy and all this sort of stuff. And uh, he, was, he was a massive inspiration to me. So I continued uh, from then on. So it's now been, well, I shudder, I think, uh, was it 48 years, I think. What was your painting that you sold to the Queen's agent? What was it that? was a landscape of a place near, um, actually from Dumfries originally. It was a landscape of a painting of a place called Thornhill. I got 16 pounds for it, uh, which in 1965, four, I think was quite a bit of money. So I bought my mother a dress. I bought a copy of Lady Charlie's Lover, Bob Dylan's first album, and still had eight quid. <laughs> I've always painted, uh, I was uh, an art director of a uh, Robert Maxwell's company and stuff like that. So I've, I've always, I, I used to combine the two. And then I decided, uh, well, 25 years ago, I was made a Robert Maxwell's company folded, as probably people know. And uh, so I moved from London back to here and I've just been painting ever since, for a living. What are you painting right now? I'm painting a black albatross, which I was painting this morning. And is it very big? It's uh, five foot by three foot. How did you learn to paint? Um, my, it's a, it's a bit, bit of an old folk tale, but my grandmother had a very large house, um, and my grandfather died, and she took in lodgers. And there was a guy who was a trainee draftsman with Ford Motor Company in Dumfries at the time. He was also a very young man. I mean, I suppose I was eight, nine. And he used to take the woman and woman's own, and he used to show me how to draw this thing, and he'd cut it into sections and show me how to do it. And I had a maiden aunt who's a hundred this year, who used to buy me paint and uh, this sort of stuff. So she was your patron? Yeah, she was, very much so. But it still is, to a degree. Yeah. And she's still alive in case. School was, was the big deal. You know, that was where it started, you know. Because we had, uh, it was an academy. It was, a, you know, one of the academies, and the three art teachers, and Robin Philipson was one of them at the time, and he spotted something in me and said, "You've got to carry on with this." Then he moved, and he moved to Edinburgh. Now, to say, he eventually became the head of Edinburgh Art College and the president of the Royal Scottish Academy, and he couldn't sell a painting at all till he was fifty. So, so tell me how you ended up with two paintings in the Guggenheim. Well, I, what actually happened was um, these paintings that I showed you, that I did. For, that's where the Greenway to the Guggenheim came in, that I showed you up there. My agent uh, took um, the dancing ones with the orchid heads, and I still had two left. So I'd actually painted five, but I sold three. And he had two left, and one of his agent friends said, I like, really like them. Have you got any more? And he said, no, I haven't. So he phoned me up and said, uh, could you do me some more? This uh, guy for the White Cube in London has got a chance of getting an exhibition at Google. And uh, so that's how it started. So Ron, who buys your paintings? Everyone and anyone. I've sold paintings to... Oh God, everybody. Uh, I mean, normally, normally he gets me them. I've sold them by word of mouth. I've sold them. I've actually sold quite a number around here. So, what does the future hold for Ron Wilson? I'll just carry on. I'm 65 years old. What else am I going to do? You know, no, I, I love it. I love every minute of it. It's a frustrating thing to do. Uh, very frustrating and very. It takes a long time and it's very tiring. But uh, 
you know, I've got plenty of energy, but so I don't uh, don't really think about that. Like the most important paint I ever did, strangely enough, was I I painted some paintings for uh, a, a lady in Learmonth Crescent, and uh, they were black and whites of Edinburgh, you know. And her husband, well, well I think he, he was a stockbroker. I'm sure he was a stockbroker. And he said to me, uh, "Could you paint me this?" thing the Princess Street and I've seen, he said I've seen this thing somewhere and he, he photographed this thing and I painted it for him and as I was as I was finishing the proof of it uh, I went and he said uh, I've only got seven weeks to live and he said uh, and this is a young man I mean mid 40s like that. And he said uh, could you finish it by New Year and that was three years four years ago four years ago could you finish it by New Year? And it was a big paper, it was six foot before. I said, yeah, of course I can, of course I can. So anyway, uh, I finished and got it delivered, and I took it to their house. Now, I'd already done three for his wife, you know. And uh, we sat down and he looked at it, and he said, uh, he said, that's lovely, he said. Uh, he said, as a matter of fact, it's better than the one I, I gave you, which is a big, big compliment in the first place. And uh, he said, uh, I probably won't see you again. And he gave me a Rolex watch. But that's, uh, that's, that one sticks in my mind very clearly. You know. And he didn't make fabric. Uh, where I paint is on the seventh floor of a block of flat, and that looks onto the Pentland Hill. So yes, of course, it does. I mean, it's uh, very beautiful. You know, you know you, people have to see things differently. And uh, that's why I don't do portraits, you know, I, I've never, I don't do portraits because nobody looks like they think they look, you know, so I don't do portraits. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the surroundings are, I mean, even the, even the canal, I've painted the canal a couple of times. I've painted things like for people, and, and uh, but the, the hills are, are a massive thing, you know, there's a, it's a very beautiful place, you know, very beautiful.